Hey, welcome back to A Faster Me. Uh, today's video is gonna be about um, my ride on Sunday. We did a pretty pretty big ride. I mean, nothing too special, but we did about just a little under 80 miles, 76, 77 miles, something like that. And about 47, 4,800 feet of climbing. Um, I don't know if you ever heard, uh, don't go shopping on an empty stomach. That's kind of what we did with riding. We originally had planned a two hour road race. Um, it was freezing. It's a long ride. We we're all kind of tired and yeah, we didn't do that. <laughs> so, but we did do the ride that we were going to do. We just didn't race the two hours that we we're um, going to race in the middle. Ended up being a, just about a five hour ride total. And anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit of a climb um that i did there's there's basically just about all of it's climbing but there's basically two major climbs on the little two hour segment that we were going to race and i pr'd uh both segments both climbs and you know i'm not a climber at all but it's just a testament to the training i've been doing um i'm still training with uh chaz torman from elevate coaching and we did a lot of sweet spot work this last month or so and i've been with them for about uh, i'm not exactly sure seven to nine months maybe eight months somewhere in there and um within the first couple months i saw like an 11 watt gain on my uh, ftp i don't know what it is right now because we haven't tested ftp in a while we're gonna do some uh, threshold training this week but um i was about eight watts above threshold I held eight watts above threshold for 30 minutes during this climb. And I'm just gonna show you the first few minutes of the climb and just see what a difference was. Cause I had no clue. I had no clue what watts I was doing at the time. I did not have my watts displayed on my head unit. And I just rode based off of time and feel. And yeah, I mean, I thought I was gonna blow up. I did actually almost blow up but i ended up beating my personal best by over two minutes on this climb this climb is just about eight miles um and again i'm not a climber at all i do not enjoy uh that type of suffering but um anyway yeah um check out the power numbers they're not like amazing compared to anybody else they're amazing compared to me so check out the power numbers and just see how I'm, I'm proud of just how we're improving and I'm excited to see uh, how many more or how much I can, how much more I can improve going forward with the training. So check out the video and I uh, hope you enjoy it. All right. So the climb basically, or the segment just started now. This is my training partner, Francisco. My wife's actually behind me. Um, I think she's recording also, but, um, we basically just pulled away from her from the beginning. So I'm not gonna use any of that footage. Um, if you can see here, Francisco, he loves to climb. He's really strong also, a lot stronger than I am. Keep in mind, my FTP is 230 or 229 right now. Uh, I'm doing just about 350, 320. Francisco's just pulling away from me with every pedal. And yeah, I have no clue at the time that I'm doing this many watts. Um, it felt easy, felt good. Um, obviously, you know, vitals are going up and blood's starting to flow. Probably got a little adrenaline pumping at this time. Um, pace is pretty good for me. It's always hard on this road. I mean, honestly, traffic doesn't scare me. And I don't say that to be a tough guy or anything like that. Um, it's just I pretty much stick to the side of the road or where I think is appropriate at the time while I'm riding. This guy's spinning out of control. He tried to keep up with Francisco for a second, but that wasn't gonna happen no matter what he does. And I think he's spinning just a little bit too much, uh, especially coming from me, which I love a fast cadence, but he would benefit from maybe dropping down one gear and adding a little bit of power to his cadence as well. So, this climb is, um, I mean, it's a, it's a long climb. My PR on this coming into this day was 32 minutes and I believe like 30 seconds or something like that or 38 seconds. And 
I ended up doing it in 30 minutes and 20 seconds. So just about two minutes and 10 second improvement. And I probably could have done a little bit better, but we still had, um, I don't know, we still had about 40 miles to go after we finished this climb. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why we did not do the two hour road race. It's kind of hard to do a two hour road race when you go basically all out and PR the first climb and you got, you know, 26 miles of climbing left to do or whatever. So um, anyway, uh, if you look at the watts, we've been going for a couple minutes now and I'm still at 300, 280, 270, stuff like that. And again, my FTP is basically right at 230, it's 229. And I, d I was thinking at one point um, that, man, it feels like I'm going pretty fast. Like, you know, do I need to pace this? Do I need to calm down or can I hold this? But um, if I would have thought about it a little more, I could have actually gone a little bit harder because this climb has two sections where it's slightly downhill just for about a half a mile and then maybe three quarters of a mile the second time. So it's basically like you're gonna climb for eight minutes or so pretty hard, then you'll get a half a mile rest, then then you have another X amount a minute climb and then another half a mile rest. So out of the eight miles, maybe a total one mile is possibly downhill during the middle of the climb. So if I would have thought about it in that sense, I could have actually went harder and just went extremely hard up the climbs, try to get some recovery on the downhill, then go hard again, just, you know, basic interval training. So, but yeah, I mean, for me, look, I'm still up there pretty high. I'm good 40, 50 watts over my FTP. I know I said over a threshold at the beginning, but I meant FTP. Threshold is actually a fairly wide range, um, you know, and your FTP is more of a solid number. Um, and it's actually, you know, in general, it's a range as well. You're not gonna hold the exact number down to the watt, you know, for an hour or anything like that. So, but yeah, for the most part, I don't really dip below my FTP too much here. I mean, you see it right now just went down to uh, 225 or so, but immediately it's back up 250, 260. And I basically hold this pace all the way through the climb. And I averaged uh, 237 for the 30 minutes. So, I mean, for me, that's, that's really good. Um, it, obviously, if your FTP is 230, in theory, that's kind of like saying you can hold it for an hour. But, you know, most of us know that's not always the case. Um, Typically, you're not even going to do an hour test ever. And when you ride out on the road, you're typically not holding your FTP for that entire hour or for an hour throughout, uh, throughout your ride. About a month ago, I did hold uh, 223, though, for an hour during the ride. And it was a similar deal. Um, it was on another climb that's a lot steeper than this one, but it was another eight mile climb. And I do it in uh, 49 minutes. That was my, the, my best time. And that was the time that I did it in 49 minutes. Um, I held 223 for an hour, but yeah, the training has been going well. Um, on top of it being incredibly cold, there was a little bit of a wind up here and we had some sprinkles, just a, a tad of sprinkles, but nothing too major. And um, my legs did not feel that great, actually, honestly. Um, we have been doing Sweet Spot for the last month or so, maybe even a month and a half. And then this week, because of the holidays, we had a, basically a, a light week. And I know a lot of times when you take a light week, your legs come out feeling fresh, but they actually didn't. I think, um, you know, uh, maybe there wasn't enough riding during the week to keep my legs open. So pretty much didn't have the right amount of oxygen flowing to them. So I felt honestly very tired and didn't know how many watts I was doing. And I was really shocked to see 
when I loaded the data to it, um, the metrics and saw that I was producing so many watts. Obviously I PR'd so I knew I wasn't, you know, going slow as the fastest I've ever been, but I did not know how many watts I was holding. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. If you see here, my watts are dipped down now for the first time for any, um, you know, for more than five seconds or so under my FTP, but and that's just the variation in the road most likely. A uh, little fatigue setting in as well. I did settle down for a little bit and because I thought, hey, I don't know if I could hold this. Even though I couldn't see my watts, I just, that feeling that I had was, am I going out too hard? You know, it was just that sense of this seems too easy. Am I going out too hard? And I knew I was going a decent pace. But, um, yeah, I basically kept it the whole time. You see here is a little bit of a rest period. The uh, grade is going down. So, of course, your cadence changes and all that, and you start shifting gear. So a lot of times you do lose watts here, and then um, you'll find the rhythm and pick it back up. Miles per hour is going up, so obviously it's a little harder to produce power. If you notice um, also my cadence, uh, I slowed my cadence down a little bit, stayed in a little bit heavier gear most of the, um, again, if you remember the video I did on cadence, the reason why I'm, I'm able to do that on this type of ride is I do not have to match accelerations. Francisco was the only person that even attacked or accelerated, and he's so much stronger than me on climbs, like it wouldn't make any sense for me to try to match his acceleration. As you saw at the beginning, I was doing 300 plus. Well, he held 400 for, uh, I can't remember the exact amount, but he held 400 for a long way. And I did 237 for my 30 minutes. He held, I believe, 290 for 294 or something like that for 20 minutes. He's also only 140 pounds. So he's 30 pounds lighter than me with 50 watts more <laughs> on the FTP or on the power side and he ended up beating me by four minutes on this climb. He did it in 26, mid 26s, and I did it in 30 minutes. So, yeah, so basically all that to say is I can basically hold whatever cadence I want when I'm riding by myself, and I'm gonna hold the cadence that's gonna allow me to keep power and keep momentum. So basically that was it. I'm just um, excited to see that I was able to hold 237 watts for 30 minutes on this climb and you know I haven't looked at my power numbers from the next climb which is about a five mile climb at about eight percent gradient and I PR'd that one as well so it'd be interesting to see if I what numbers I hold just you know 15 minutes after doing this climb so All right, so that was it. I mean, basically I took a little one minute breather right there um, as the gradient leveled out for a second. Took a one minute breather to recover, um, probably at about 200 watts, basically at like tempo, and then um, got right back on it and picked it back up again. And again, I, I, you know, I'm happy. Um, like I said, 237 is not like a lot of watts or anything like that, but when you have an FTP of 230 or 229 and you hold uh, 237 for 30 minutes, um, you know, it's a pretty good effort. And the way I was feeling in the cold weather, things like that, um, yeah, it was pretty much a solo effort. Francisco was so far in front of me. He wasn't anyone I could chase. I couldn't even see him. My wife was so far behind me that there was no one pushing me. It was just a nice solo effort um, with really not much on the line, but a PR. So um, yeah, I'm happy with that. And again, I look forward to um, seeing how much more I can improve. These threshold efforts that I have this week actually starting tomorrow. I have um, three 15 minute intervals uh, at threshold which is gonna be from, I believe it's something like uh, 220 to 240 that I'll be doing, somewhere in between there. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how those goes. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna put a little hurting on my legs, but um, yeah, in the long run, I'm sure it'll make me stronger. So 
Anyway, uh, stay tuned and hopefully I can uh, come up with some more videos. Thank you.